Look at her pretending that she doing a little rock show. She ain't even know this ain't even a picture. This is a video. Hella people walking through it, but I ain't even tripping. She got look cute. Look at her little ass over there. <laughs> Which I think she's singing with. It's a video! <laughs> lady about to walk through and mess up the whole situation. <clears throat> let's go see what she's talking about. Let's, let's see what she's... I've been baking in this beautiful sun you that Florida me? is giving me today. You feel me? So, you know, that's where that is. <laughs> uh huh. You already know. You already know. But it's like, that's the kind of, that's the flavor I've been feeling because I feel like. I have a lot of ideas, and I do a lot of stuff. Just tell you, I create a lot of shit at home, but it just sits there, and it just sits there. I have costumes that I've made. I have things that I've, you know, painted. She'll tell you, I create shit all the time, and I feel like it needs an outlet. I need an outlet. I don't care who looks at it. I don't care who sees it. But to put it somewhere to know it's out there is, I guess, going to be satisfying in the food. Yeah. yeah, I'm chilling too. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't get you in here. The sun is shining. It's just cool to be by the pool. Blocking a lot of that sun. Yes. But the sun is looking good on my skin. Even though I'm a little ashy, though. I'm starting to get used to this vlogging thing, actually. Look at this, nigga. I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm actually proud of her. That she's Our taking the time weekend. to start vlogging. Love Orlando. Vlogging on her own. You feel me? I hope you show me some fun things that entertained you well. This is the view that you get. And stay tuned for part two. Because, uh, 
like a secretary is. Yes. I would love what a secretary is. The most shit to put me through. From Capricorn and Aquarius. And we have they all got their different minds. The affection of a Virgo. That's all I know. <laughs> Don't quote me. Uh, who's she saying? Vegas. We haven't played it again. We know yeah. we're going to go to Fremont Street. That's it. Yeah, we, we definitely going. <laughs> and then as far as it goes when it comes to what we're going to do with Vegas. But it's going to be a cool adventure. That's kind of been the motto. Um, ever since we made our dream boards, we've kind of been on this path. Even before then, because it took us a while to, like, set the up. But... Setting your intentions in a format of always having a visual aid and always having these things around you to for you to see the goal, see the prize, see see what you want is very important. And so we made these vision boards with certain goals and immediately started activating ourselves to do those goals and then manifesting those things to happen is because we're here. You know, it, it's not just because we bought a ticket. No, it's more than that. Everything aligning the way it aligned to allow me to get my ticket and get here and be here and know that my house is safe, and my babies are safe, and my dogs is important. Thanks to our home. places, to Brandy. We appreciate yeah. you all the time. That's the manifesto. Real talk. Um, and we d definitely thank God for all the blessings that He has given us. You know. You know what I mean? Like, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. It's not us doing it. It's not me doing it. It's really it for God doing it. You feel me? We kind of just like to do our own thing, run our own business. We don't really get out of line and let somebody, you know, get out of line with us. We kind of just mind our own business. You feel me? We enjoy our time. It's sunny out here. It's the, really the business. The kids out here playing. And we see that. And we watch a couple channels. And it was fun to do. We are at the pool. But Absolutely. just recording our shenanigans and recording the things that we put each other I think through. I'm gonna go I get her and things, and she gets me into things. And it's really funny. Hey, feet. It'd be really funny to see those play back. You so, feel me? Right now, trying to find the groove. Uh, you like, give me water when I'm in need. I'm starting to yeah, play. she'll try flan. Try flan, dear. And I know. There's always an opportunity to put it out. About to mix that shit with some other shit. Feedback is interesting. You feel me? I have pretty thick skin, so like when people say crazy stuff on my TikTok or on my on my Instagram, it's it's entertaining. But when it becomes deep, I don't know, we'll see. But right now just trying to find a groove and a balance of like a couple's channel vlogging together and separate. So you'll like hear in the background and stuff because she's vlogging and she goes live all the time. So, you know, you can watch her on Facebook at Mookie 360. You can find her on YouTube at Buddha360. But we you gotta type in. That remember, they gotta type in Mookie because whenever you said when they type in Mookie, that's when that's they, on Instagram. Yeah, that's so on, on Instagram. Instagram yeah. You'll find her at Mookie 360, 360. as well. And then on uh, we YouTube. already have some videos up on YouTube. You can check those out. You know, we would love feedback because we really want to know how we can grow and how we can develop into a like entertaining type of situation. Low key, we think we're funny as hell. Like we're very like upfront people. I'm not prideful. I'm very humble. I know who I am. I know my struggles. I know what I've been through. You feel but me? I've come to a point in my life where. I'm not afraid to speak on what I feel I'm good at. I'm not afraid to speak on what I feel my accolades are. Period. Point blank, period. So I feel that I'm funny. I feel that I can entertain people. I feel like some of the things that my girlfriend puts me through is comical as fuck. Frustrating but comical. And I would love to get people's feedback on the shit that we go through. No lie. Because <laughs> there's been hella times where... We didn't, a situation didn't happen, whether I didn't did something and I didn't set her up and she'd be like, if only I had that shit on camera or vice versa. 
and I'd be like, I'm going to just film you so the world can see what you put me through, so you can see what you put me through. Only on a comical, entertaining, fun type of level. And so, just trying to find a balance of how can I make a channel for yeah. me so you guys can get to know me on a level of just me. And then our, you know, channel as well, because like now we're live, so. No, we're not know, live right now. I'm actually you know recording. It kind of well, and I think that's why I'm merging it together the way I am, is Lily. Yep. Your Lily, yours truly. Yeah, she dope. And, and her Lily girlfriend is Graham. Yeah, Graham. She, she, she cool she's too. She's like double vlogs. Yeah. Like triple vlogs. And yeah. Stuff. They got their own channel, plus they got a couple channels. Channel. And it's just like. And it's kind of like ours because I, I basically. She's able to separate. Do reviews on shoes, clothes. See, this is the part that's hard for me. Yeah, because we, then we both be talking. Yeah. But it's fine. Go ahead. I'm going to pause give me, my, Yeah. Give me one, one second. Me. Just give me a second. Yeah, so. Buddy thing is this on my channel what i talk about is reviews on things shoes review on clothes review on just shirts electronics uh i'm even like doing vlogs on tv shows serious you feel me uh she's also doing multiple things herself you feel me which that is very amazing we are actually we're trying to get our own channel you feel me but we want to make sure we you know go about it right have the right name make sure things are lit but yeah that's how you would find me at buddha 360 on youtube you feel me don't fuck with your girl you feel me and then i'm gonna let my baby tell you what her channel is we haven't yet Decided fully so established yet, but, but she I'm will be there. To it out. Yeah, it's exactly. Like me, I'm not just a one niche kind of person. I do it all, and like I was walking and like meditating me. like a week ago, and I was thinking of some affirmations to tell myself to push myself, and what I came up with is, he blessed me with this mind, and he blessed me with these hands. And with these two things, he blessed me with the ability to create everything that I do is with my hands. I create magic with my mind, with my hands. I can figure things out. And that's what I needed to receive. And that's what I needed to understand about who I am as a person and my purpose here. You know, it's like to feel grounded, to have a purpose, to give you a mission, to give you a drive. You know what I mean? So it's like, and I create a whole bunch of different things. So you, so you're just gonna see my journey as a stylist trying to figure out how to navigate being a stylist through COVID Man, and that trying right to rebuild there herself itself. after COVID. Exactly, that's a that um, whole because I lost situation. everything because of COVID. As far as oh, five thirty-five. You're welcome. But because of COVID, mm -hmm. um, I've technically lost everything. Um, I did have the option of going back to my job, but my job suffered greatly because of COVID. And they're not in the same position to support me the way they did before. So I decided not to go back. Also, I just don't feel comfortable going back. Um, so now, so we, how we, do you rebuild yourself after COVID? Yeah, so exactly. I've been thinking about, like, what type of content could I bring or what kind of journey could I take people on? So I've come up with the fact that I'm just going to show how to rebuild yourself as a stylist after COVID. I didn't see any videos on like real struggling stylists, stylists who lost everything, who have nothing, who now have to figure out how do I, do I work from my home? How do you figure out how to be safe and get personal when you don't really have any funds and you're battling day to day with like real hard, not like, you know what I mean? Crazy. So it will fuck with your we're mental. We're gonna go on that journey. We're just gonna show. I'm just gonna show you my life. I guess basically I'm just gonna be like a lifestyle channel because I'm like a Renaissance woman, and I'm a 2000. I'm gonna show you a real modern 2021 Renaissance woman. It a lot of the times when I want something, I like it, but it's always missing that one or two things that can make it work. Is very precious to me. So. For me, a lot of the times I end up making my own things, and that comes from the fact that I want everything to be meaningful and purposeful and important. 
and I'm going to buy with a purpose. I'm going to spend with a purpose. So I create with a purpose. So a lot of times I'll see like, you know, things around the house, um, DIY things, clothing, jewelry, in ways to represent myself. And that's what I'm going to show you on the channel. Just like, I'm going to figure any task that I need to do. I always figure out how to do it on my own. Don't call nobody. I don't look for nobody. I figure it out on my own. So I think I'm just be self-efficient. I guess, I don't know. You'll figure it out. You'll tell me. I don't know. Give us some feedback. Highlight your girl. Tell your girl what she's looking for. But I've been throwing around some name ideas and shit. You know, my salon, my, my business is Royal Beauty. That's my cosmetology business. That's what I go by. Um, with the fact that, you know, I stem from royalty. I stem from success. And I say that I stem from royalty because... I am tell people that the crown that you are blessed with can be beautiful, which is your natural hair. It can be beautiful yeah. and it can be great. And then you can build from there. You can elaborate from there. You can play from there. But make sure that your person are for two people. Shit. What did she say? It's coming up to be two hundred. You said she said two hundred and forty dollars, correct? Right, right. Um, okay, I'm going to check back with you. Uh, no, I'm trying to leave by t tomorrow. Yeah, no. Uh, let me give you a call back. You too, thank you. So what I'm about to do is um, go here. Go fast. We're about to get in the cold though. Hold on. Um, mm. All right, we, I'm about to book these tickets, but we're about to get in this pool. When we get back to the room, then I'll book it while we're getting dressed. Um, because it is 631, we're going to be in here for at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes uh, at the latest. Um, because it closed at 9. And we're going to be on time today. All right. So let's go and go get in the pool. We in this thing, bruh. Come on. Can you let us in the gate, please? I don't think. Thank you. It worked earlier. Maybe we should go reset it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the sun is going down. I don't think we're going to get in the pool, but I might. Let me just, let me see if the, yeah, let me, let me put my feet in and see. We probably get in for like 30 minutes and then get out. You feel me? Stand in my light so I can see. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, 
you have that shit on? I know. What? Then why are you over there? Because. You see me. Girl, you see me. Now it sees us. It sees us. It sees us. Like, see us. Like, see us. Like, see us. Like, see us. So, check this out. This nigga got a Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah, you look who you are. Yeah, you look who you are. Annoying. I didn't want to come in here, but I came. But then we both not in that same side. I'm not even on that side yet. At least you can do is let me get to the TV. Thank you. I appreciate your service. Come on, thank you. We was in. You don't even care about that. <laughs> she gives me my knee. Oh, 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 yeah, she is actually she tried it. It's warm right here. Oh, 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 Sure I got 98. So we got to move on. 